welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel for the first time. My name is Elizabeth. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm going to take you guys along for the process of remodeling my hallway slash entryway area that you walk right into when you walk into my front door. So the other day I was randomly just sitting on my couch staring at my entryway thinking I hate looking at that. I really need to change it. I need to do something different. I need to spruce it up and I thought you know what I don't have anything going on this week why not do it right now let me literally just get off the couch and start working so that's what I did most of the projects that I do and like share with you guys on my channel I share it months later I go through the whole remodel process the decorating process everything like that and then like eight months later I put a video together about it I started this project six days ago it is 90% done. There are a few last minute things that I still have to do, but I want to get the video done, get it edited, and then I'll put the final clips in later. So you'll see everything. It's just this voiceover is filmed a little bit in advance. This hallway, before it wasn't horrible, but it was not my taste. You walk into our house, we have the ugly yellow tinted lighting. I did not like it. We had the chair rail all throughout this hallway gray paint on the bottom half, like a creamy paint that matched all of the trim, the ceiling, the doors, everything on the top half. It was just a lot. Back at Christmas time, I did decide that I wanted to paint the end of this hallway like an olive green color just to like test it out, see if I liked it. And over the past however many months, it's been like six months, I really like it. So I decided, you know what, we're just going to go with this. Uh, when I did my bathroom renovation a few months ago, I put that up on my channel if you guys missed it. I did paint this one door and trim white so you can see that. Uh, that's the only thing that's been painted white in this entire hallway so you can really see the contrast between the ugly cream and then the bright white gorgeousness. This hallway needed a lot of work. It was nothing like functionally wrong with it. I just didn't like it. So I started just by drawing sketches of what I thought I wanted, but I knew no matter what, I wanted to get rid of the chair rail. So that's what I started to do. I will say, I don't know if I used the right tools. Actually, I will say confidently, I know I did not use the right tools because I just kind of used a screwdriver, a utility knife, a hammer, um, a little scraper thing and I just did what I could to get these chair rails off the walls. So this is the same process I used for the trim in the basement. Again, that was started like almost a year ago. You guys still haven't seen that because it's not done. So I'm just proud of myself for going this far just by myself. So chair railing slowly but surely came off. A long process but I got it taken care of. Later that day, once I got it all off, I started with this spackling stuff. Again, I don't know if this is what I'm technically supposed to use for this specific project, but I had this in my house and I decided, you know what, let's just, let's just go. So the stuff goes on pink, it dries white, and it is awesome. I went through and just kind of smoothed everything out and then let it dry. This is where I made my first mistake in the project. The next day I woke up and decided, well, you know what, it would be a heck of a lot easier. I just got a new sander. It'd be a heck of a lot easier to use this new orbital cordless sander versus going around by hand and sanding these walls. So I just grabbed my sander. And let me tell you, I set the fire alarm off in our house two different times because of all of the dust and smoke that was coming off of these walls from using this sander. So I made a huge mess. And so for this day, I really only sanded the walls down from where I had patched them and then spent the rest of the day cleaning my house because I had dust everywhere. But the next morning I woke up and it was time to start painting. I wanted to go through and paint the trim, the doors, everything like that. I really just kind of started half-heartedly with a coat of white on everything. I used Ultra Pure White by Bear. I used a flat paint on the ceiling and the first coat of some of the doors slash trim and then I used a semi-gloss finish for the final coat of everything. I don't I don't know if you're supposed to mix them like that but let me just tell you how much cheaper it is to get flat paint versus semi-gloss so that's what I did. Once the whole process was started with the painting I decided go big or go home might as well just start the ceiling so the next morning I woke up and started painting the ceiling. This was a long process I absolutely hate painting ceilings but it needed to get done and I said you know what no one else is gonna do it so might as well start. Once the first coat was done on the ceiling I used this stuff I cannot remember what it's called off the top of my head but it's this exact same stuff I've used in almost every single home project remodel video out there 
that I've used on my windows because the stuff I got from Amazon, it's linked in my Amazon shop down below, but you paint it on the glass of the windows and then you can paint the trim and surroundings of the windows and then just peel this stuff off. So I use that to go and paint the little glass section of like right next to the front door that we have that like you can see in and out of. So that's what I did to, I believe it was end this day. The next morning I got up and started another least favorite project of mine, sanding and painting the doors. So I did, started painting the trim the other day and then half-heartedly painted like the inside design of the doors and I was like you know what Elizabeth these are doors like 17 and 18 that I've done in this house like I need to do it the right way get them outside and sand them so that's what I did I started sanding them down and then I wiped them off with a cloth to get all the dust away and then I took them inside and spent the rest of the day painting them woohoo this was the first day that I got one of my Amazon orders in so this day after I was done painting the interior doors I have not started the front door still currently but <laughs> after I was done painting the interior doors I got inside I had an Amazon package and so I just got this like window film window cling whatever I do not like how people can see into our house from standing on the porch looking through these windows so I ordered this on Amazon it was only like seven or eight dollars which is perfect it's super e easy to install you just cut it out and then spray water on the windows and then stick this stuff to the windows and it's perfect so I show you guys what it looks like before and then what it looks like after I love it you can still see shadows and stuff um, but you cannot like see in or out of the window next step in the process was electrical work so I started working on swatches Swapping out the ceiling lights. I didn't like either of these ceiling lights, so I ordered some from Amazon. I'll remember to link these in my Amazon shop. I got these two lights for like $40 like together, so like 20 bucks each, which so I was like, that's perfect. So affordable. I love it. While I was working on electrical stuff, since I had the electric shut off, I also switched out the electrical switches from cream that they were before of course to a white color and then while I was doing this my husband David went through and painted the second coat on the ceiling and then I just had a lot of energy that day so I also started painting the like trim along the walls in the wall color this was the same exact paint that I had on the wall that I painted at Christmas time I liked it enough that I was like you know what we're gonna use this for the rest of the hallway this is also, before I did go buy this paint, I got my wallpaper that I ordered in and I matched it to make sure that it would look good. And yes, it did look good. So I was like, you know what, we're going to commit, use it, it's perfect. Sitting right here right now, I do not know the name of the paint off the top of my head, but I will put it right here. It's bare. I got um, bare interior eggshell finish, but it's like a really pretty olive green and I love it. The next step after painting this trim was going through and painting the walls. I ended up doing the first coat on the walls that night and then I woke up the next morning and did the second coat. The walls ended up getting two coats and then after they were completely done and dry, I went through and taped around where the trim was because I was going to go through and officially paint the rest of the trim white slash paint over the like initial first coat of the white from what I had already painted. So I did this on the floor trim and then the ceiling trim and then I ran out of tape. So for the rest of it I just kind of winged it. This has been like a really just thrown it all together project. I think it turned out great but the whole process of it was just like I had just a lot of chaotic energy and I needed to put it into something and it just ended up being this project. So after all of the trim was done, I went through and put the covers on the outlets, finished changing out all of the ceiling lights because for whatever reason the first time I did it I only switched out one light and then just didn't do the other one. And then it was time for wallpaper. So I ordered this wallpaper technically from Home Depot but I think it's from like Rifle Paper Co is what I think the brand is. Um, I can double check that for you. If it's wrong, I'll leave something else here. Um, but I went through first and made a straight line down the wall using like a level leveler. This straight line, I thought I didn't need it because I was like, oh, however it goes will be fine since it's not like a straight pattern. It's like a, you know, fun florally pattern. I don't have exact lines on it. I won't need it to be straight. But let me tell you, this line helped a lot. And I cannot even pinpoint down an exact reason why it helped a lot, but I just really, like, the line helped. So if you're, like, on the fence about doing the line or not, 
I would say do the line. Um, I did get a peel and stick wallpaper and I was like dreading it. I was like, this is going to be so hard. It was so easy. I thought it was like easier than painting. We had like a lot of like skinny pieces that we needed to go around like the doors and entryways and stuff like that. Um, but the only like big problems we had to go around were the um, light switches because we had like a section of three all together. Again, this was not hard to go around them. And then the um, doorbell box that like rings that was a little bit more difficult but like we made it work so my husband helped me do this pro tip that I found from watching some other videos instead of using like those like flat scraper things to smooth out your wallpaper and get the air bubbles out we used like a dry erase marker eraser and that was like so nice because it was exact amount of like pressure perfect size and it was soft on one side so you're not scraping off any of your color or anything like that on the wallpaper it was perfect. So we worked as a team, got all of this wallpaper up, and then I just went through and used an X-Acto knife or a box cutter or whatever to go through and trim it around the trim. I would suggest having a really sharp knife to do that, but ours was pretty dull, so we ran into some problems, but like it worked out in the end, you know? And yeah, so that's pretty much all I have up till this point. Things that I still need to do are spray paint my door hardware. I'm not gonna include it in this video though because I've done it in a ton of other videos in the past. Um, the one that I went into a lot of detail was the video from the upstairs hallway that I did, like my hallway remodel. I can link it um, if you guys want to check it out to see the whole process of it. I wouldn't say that this method is completely like foolproof now that it's been like over a year since I've done that. Some of the door handles have like some chips in them, but like that's easy to just touch up and like it'd be fine. So we're gonna continue using that process instead of buying new doorknobs. Um, I also still need to officially paint the front door and switch out the um, front door like handle instead of gold. I think we're just gonna buy a new like electric one that like you type in a code um, and make it be black and then paint the door. I might take this project outside and redo the front door like outside part two, but we will see. Other than that, this project is pretty much done. Other than styling, I have a vision or some picture frames that's going to be beautiful. And then here in like, I don't know how long we're going to pay someone to come in and just redo the floors because after our floor experience in the basement, where we have no energy to keep doing floors. So I'd rather pay someone. So that's what's going to happen. But yeah, this project took less than a week. I am obsessed with how it turned out. I absolutely love these colors together. I love how it's like darker. I love that it's green. I love that you like walk in and it feels like welcoming and homey. I feel like everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's so dark. Like you're going to walk in your house and it's going to be dark. And I'm like, I'm going to walk in my house and it's going to be happy. I love it. I just sit there and stare at it. It makes me so incredibly like, just like, I love it. So that is it for this little project. Nice and quick and fast. We love it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I was asked um, how I like the wallpaper, if I recommend it. Yes, I want a wallpaper every single room in my house. I just wish it wasn't so expensive. Doing this wall was like, I think it was $66 a roll and we used two rolls. So it's pretty pricey, but like it brings me so much joy. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!